Hi everyone, I'm Lauren and today I'm part of a commercial that will tell the story of when I got diagnosed with scoliosis and how this transition has impacted me. So right now all the production's going and it's a little crazy. Never had anything like this before. There's a lot of lights. <laughs> So my dad's right now working towards his interview, and so, hi dad. Hey sweet and low, how are you? Good, I like the purple shirt. Nice, well that means mom picked it, not me. Yes, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm a little nervous. This You're nervous? Not, this is not my power alley. As we started to learn more about scoliosis, you know, we came to the realization that this was clearly gonna be one of life's trials for Lauren, and if it is for Lauren, it's gonna be a life trial for the entire family. I don't think it was until she actually strapped the brace on that she understood the implications of what it meant to endure scoliosis and and treatment, a treatment plan for six years. So you no longer have to wear a brace or anything? Nope, nothing. So completely mm -hmm. back to normal. Is that kind of slowed you down and you couldn't be as active? Well, I thought that the good thing initially about the brace was that it really didn't like prevent me from doing anything because okay. Once I started, um, once it got more into the point where I was getting used to it and it was doing, I was doing well with it, the, um, Dr. Cronin started to let me like say, okay, you can do something, you can take a few hours off oh, a week if you want. Okay. By the end of, at the like, before I was about to get it off, I actually um, didn't have to work school one day a week, so I got like oh. one day a week to just not do it. This is my brace that I wore for the last year before I got it off. And it's set up so try to provide as much comfort as possible. There's a little hole over here to provide air and a little bit more of comfort. And there's like padding throughout it. And in a couple of weeks, I believe, I'm going to go blow it up. One of my dad's friends has an explosive device. And I'm really excited because I feel like it kind of symbolizes like a new start, just kind of getting rid of that, of my past and my brace. And it's really exciting to not have to wear it anymore. So here we are in the locker room, which is where we're going to be filming part of my interview. And all the lighting crew is getting set up in here. When I was eight years old, I just went for a routine checkup to the pediatrician. And she noticed when she was checking my spine that there was a curvature. So if you're diagnosed with scoliosis, having a brace is not the end of the world. You just have to focus and be determined. Dr. Cronin definitely encouraged me when he described my progress. So every time we went for our checkups and I could tell, he would tell me that my spinal curvature was either staying the same or starting to get better. That really encouraged me because that meant I was one step closer to not having to have surgery. Lauren is a great example of why we tell kids that, that this is the right thing to do and, and if, you, if you follow the path that we put you on, then you're probably going to avoid needing to have a surgery done. And you had the assist. Yeah. What, was it a, were you kicking a corner or what? Um, well, I, I was like, give me the ball, give me the ball. And in fact, I, I, when kids come in that want to talk to someone else who's been through this, uh, she's the, one of the main kids that I refer to because she did so well with it and she had to wear it for such a long period of time. So uh, not infrequently, girls who are diagnosed with scoliosis, will, uh, the parent will say, hey, you know, is there somebody else that she can talk to about what this experience is like? She's one of the leading examples of uh, how to do it and do it well and still live a life despite that. I learned that I can do anything if I put my mind to it. I just have to have faith in the situation that it will work out because it did work out for me and I'm really thankful for that. So. It gave me some confidence in my ability and my perseverance. 